All right. So when last we left off, we were about to, I believe, go to the next area of the game. So we're good there. Jeff, Jeff, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. What happened was I ended stream and I came back a couple days later. That's what happened. All right. All right, so I believe we're ready to go now. Have you found something to write with? Ah, uh, we have, yes. So we gotta get the... Equip the feather pen? I found a pen, sort of. Yo, Seth, welcome in, happy Thursday. How you doing? Good, please write your name here. That is such a satisfying sound effect. <laughs> Ooh, the sound cue. Good luck. Oh, by the way, friends, could you let me know how the, uh, how the game audio seems this time? Because I know there was, like, a bit of a delay with the game audio last time, and I changed, like, a setting in OBS that I, I was told would fix that, so let me know if it sounds good. Sound came. mm-hmm-hmm, -hmm. perfect. So make sure everything is synced up. Oh, hello. So I guess we're not quite going to the next area yet. Or I mean, oh gosh, this is not good. Oh dear, okay. Yo, welcome in, Bug, happy Thursday. It sounds synced, good, good, good. All right, but what in the world? What in the world? So I guess I can't go back this way. Yeah, I'm blocked off now, so I have no choice but to keep going this way. Had some weird idea about the ability to transfer channel points between channels. Yeah, that's not... That's not a feature, is it? But... Interesting. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna, like, run away from these squares. Scene change. <gasps> Ooh, is this the city? Oh, I like the catwalk sound of the of the walking now. Wow, this is pretty. Oh, hi, Joy. Hi, Coppers Kitty. Oh, hello, giant robot. Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I, I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. I guess I gotta f get down a lot of stairs or find an elevator. Oh, let me bump down the music a little bit. There we go. So, so we gotta go like, <laughs> oh my god, just like at Magfest, you gotta go down and go up. So it sounds like we gotta go down a bunch of stairs, get to the ground, go into the tower, then we gotta go back up the tower. Why didn't they just build a catwalk all the way to, like, the roof of the tower, instead of, like... This is poor urban planning, that's what I say. You'd think they would- you'd think they could have prepared the Messiah's path for the Messiah, but no. 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 They don't. I see how they treat their messiahs around here. This is not accessible. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. 
Off you go then. I wish you luck. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted to access the garden? Um, what if I equip this? Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the kernel. Oh, oh. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Yee! Do you understand what you must do? Um. No, tell me. <laughs> Take the seed to the garden. Plant it in the pot in the center. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Yes, yes, we get to grow her back. That makes me happy. <laughs> Inexplicably, there's just a sacred garden right here. All right, time to put the seed in the planter. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Hmm. So perhaps I need dirt. And I wonder if I'm gonna use the tube of water to water it. <laughs> the game has puns, I'm happy. Yes, good, good, good. I am excited to see Maze again, and I, I'm not exactly sure why, because we, we didn't really get to know Maze at all very much, but... But Maze just looked so, like... Just seemed so despondent, but then when we left when we left the sun with her, it like gave her hope, and I think it makes me I think that makes me want to bring her back, so. Can you tell me anything about growing stuff? Hello again, Messiah. Do you need help? I missed out on my chance to access the most pun heavy part of the game. Ah, uh, oh well. Um well, explain again. Very well, you need to find to get to the library on the surface. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would explain to me the... how I can grow... maze back, but I guess, I guess maybe I need to get dirt. Come on! Someone's banging around. Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? Hmm. Ah, so there's a sign that says go that way. Why isn't this working? I think someone might need help. Or I could go that way. Ah, hello. Come on. Come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're... you. Yes, you're you, and I'm me, and we're all each other. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh... Is there, uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. <laughs> oh, thanks for... thanks for clipping that, Copper. <laughs> Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but... Yeah, just take a look at it. <laughs> it, it looks like an elevator. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, but... Go look at the button panel. <laughs> huh, there aren't any buttons. <laughs> yep! That's a problem. <laughs> oh no. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. Oh, I thought... I thought it said ground because you put like... You, you'd like place a bag of whole bean coffee into the elevator and then you press ground and it grinds it up for you so you can brew coffee with it later. That's... That, that's no, that's not what it means. Jeff, stop. Hi, everyone. All right. <clears throat> but now it's been ripped out or something? 
I tried looking everywhere for it, to no avail. Maybe it exploded. Do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. What else do you have to say? You think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. <laughs> Time to kick the door again. My foot hurts. <laughs> oh, jeez. I do like Nico's like boundless optimism. I really, I really like that. Nico is just so pure and adorable. Uh oh, we've got some degradation there. <laughs> All right, what's going on in here? Ah, okay. Got some rooms here. Lots of rooms, actually. Oh my goodness. Wait, how big is this thing? Good heavens. Ooh, there are plants there. Alright, so that's the end. Um, let's see. Because, yeah. Good question. How many of these are locked? I was like, there are way too many doors here for there to be, like, a room for each of them. A potted plant. This one is a pink flower in it. A potted plant. Ooh, a greenhouse. Can I get, like, soil here? Be sure not to touch these. These are plants that have only recently sprouted. It's not easy for a plant to make it out there these days. We've got these growing lamps, but they're a poor substitute for the sun. Well, I have the sun. Oh, I wonder if the sun will be, like, key to growing... Maze back. Uh, let's see. Let's poke around here. Filled with plant clippings. It's wheat! Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the, in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small, isolated plots. Or in a flower pot. Flower pot. <laughs> Hello there! You have a lot of plants. I do! Grew all of these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind by a plant lady. But the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Ooh, we got a whole bag of dirt. Got a bag of dirt. Gotta use a dirt on the thing. It's wheat. That golden color is quite something, no? That golden color is quite something, yes. Hi, what's this thing? That's a phosphor, that's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the ones we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? Oh, not at all. Although these trees are composed of woody tissue, they're closer to grass, anatomy-wise. So the branches are actually leaves? Sorta. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor, that's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went out. Oh, without the sun to recharge them, though. Well, let's talk about something else. What are these things? Well, this tree has leaves. Ah, yes. True foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like these in the wild anymore. And the ones you do see are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me, mostly for nostalgia purposes. Was this a watering can right here? A watering can, it's half full. Oh my gosh, Nico is such an optimist. If Nico were a pessimist, they might say that it's half empty, but no, no, not our Nico. Nico would never see the watering can as half empty. 
Only half full. It's a sink. Yep. Cactus. 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 <laughs> what was that all about? Cactus. 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 A small garden trowel. The handle part is shaped like an owl? It's an owl trowel? I get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a pink flower. I love how this person has a plant for a head and no one comments on it. I was gonna say, this person seems like a pothead to me. <laughs> owl trowel? A trowel? <laughs> I love it. What a hoot. <laughs> All right, so that's probably locked. You unlocked? Yes. <laughs> Woo. Hi, what are you? I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. <laughs> you should ride on it or resist the urge to ride on it. Um, ride on it. Do as I command. I am your god. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> Um... <laughs> oh my gosh, we can ride around on it. <laughs> this is great. Ooh, computer. It's off. Beds. Jeff, someone lives here. We can't just sleep in their bed. <laughs> Do as I command! <laughs> Cat on a Roomba. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh my god, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> achievement unlocked. We ride at dawn. Okay, I guess I can't turn this computer on. Or maybe I can and I just don't know how. I don't know. Anyway, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed riding on a Roomba. Hey, Nico isn't a cat. Uh, that's true. Nico did say they're not a cat. A picture of a ram wearing a little pink bow. Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. It's a landscape portrait of the Glen. Ooh, there's bells here. Bells! Something has been chewing on this plant. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. <laughs> oh, you got some plants, but the goat ate him. That's right. The title is City Life, What to Expect. The remains of a potted plant. Alright. Hi, what can I find in here? A picture of many ones and zeros. <laughs> I thought I saw a two in there! A painting of four robots playing cards. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty nice and relaxing, Blue Glass. I like it too. Hello. Would you like to play a game? Oh god. Are we in war games now? <laughs> oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Intercontinental Ballistic Warfare, please. Do you know Rock, Paper, Scissors? Desired difficulty level? Huh? Desired duration of turns? Uh... Please set your timer. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I just lost the game too. Thanks, Blue Glass. Dad Gummit. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, yes, Egwene, I understand that pain. Uh, the boys were howling at me earlier to get their dinner, so I gave them their dinner, and then I gave them what's for. They'll never bother me again. <laughs> the cats are fine. They're alive. My parents are, like, literally never home. But I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I've got Model CWT 2nd Gen Unit 4E here to help keep to keep me company now. <laughs> she still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay, she's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tamed someday. <laughs> oh no, Blue Glass has made many enemies today. <laughs> 
I keep hearing that word. What, tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. This is a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. A pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. It's off. It's off. Everything is off. It's a wall of family photos. Hi, who are you? Okay. <laughs> what about now? Fine. Don't want to talk? That's fine. Ooh, a penguin. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. that? Why did that happen? Is, is this Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> oh god. It's a pink flower. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is going on? They have, so the, the, they got the creepy penguin. They had like that demonic goat last time. <laughs> is the flower going to scream too? Oh my God. <laughs> no one expects the hello penguin. <laughs> no, I did not expect that. I was not expecting that at all. I guess I guess I half expected the penguin to say hello, but not like that. <laughs> that is some creepy ass shit. Oh my god. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I model 8XM home security bot T trademark serial number 39232B839W4 will have to report you. <laughs> expect penguins to explode when I throw them. <laughs> oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activity is detected. Zero. <laughs> well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the I love the interactions in this game. Well, I love most of the interactions in this game. <laughs> Jeff, someone lives here. We can't sleep in their bed. Okay, fine. I guess that would be suspicious activity. A landscape painting. An abstract painting. Oh god, thanks, Copper. <laughs> thanks for getting that. Feel free to share those in Discord, too. <laughs> we can't just sleep in their bed. We could, but it'd be a crime. Yeah, probably. Copper is doing a tremendous public service, it's true. Okay, well now we have dirt. So let's go back to the sacred garden. Wait, I can fast travel there, can I? Yep, let's do that. <laughs> I forgot about fast travel. All right, uh, we've got a bag of dirt for growing plants. I hope this helps you grow, little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Well, I have a tube of water. Let's see if that works. Good thinking, Jeff. Water should help the seed grow. Hmm, the dirt's nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. Um, can we si shine the uh, sun on it? We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough?
Come on, let me let me just shine the sun on it and make it grow. Dad come it. Alright. Guess it's not as simple as I was hoping it would be. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, what was I doing? Travel to the elevator deck. There we go. Alright. There's still, there's still more exploring to do over... This away, so... We have an entire downstairs to look at. Oh, or maybe not. The door is locked from the inside. Hey, welcome in, Sal. Happy Thursday to you. Sal, how was the rest of your day off yesterday? I remember you mentioned that it was your day off, but... Just hoping you had a good one. Ooh, scissors. There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair? I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so... Napoli belongs to us. <clears throat> Scissors, here we come. Let's see, worked a lot, but didn't hit the nano at all. Ah, well, what can you do? A small potted plant. It's a sink. Sink me, so it is. Soap dispenser. <clears throat> okay, so hold on, where, where am I now? Right, I was here and I went down this way and this way was locked. Okay, got it. Well, that's good at least, Sal. Oh, Egg Wayne did 1,600 total the past two days, 300 today. Yeah, moving stress is a legit reason to not do things, Egg Wayne, so... Completely understandable. Ooh, okay, what do we got here? Coffee maker. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. That's not true. Excuse me. There is no age, like, requirement for drinking coffee. You could give coffee to a baby. <laughs> Actually, you probably shouldn't give coffee to a baby, but you could. A coffee machine. It's very warm. It's a photograph of the cafe. Looks like it was a busy day. A photograph of a house in the Glen. Looks like it was taken while people were still living in the ruins. Hmm. A pile of large books. They look like phone books. <laughs> ah, phone books. I remember phone books. A photograph of the city skyline. A photograph of some buildings. A pile of large books. Some of the pages are dog-eared. A photograph of the factory. Hi. What are you? Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see her again. Oh, that's such a nice robot. Complimenting our scarf. Okay, that's all there is. Well, that was very nice. A photograph of some railings. Oh, can we unlock this door? Looks like I can unlock this door. Hey, that's cool. Hi, what's this? Just a trash can. Is there anything in the trash can? A photograph of the tower? The sunlight makes it hard to make out much in this photo. A photograph of the mines. There are many robots at work in the photo, extracting large deposits of ore. So what I like is that these photos are giving us more of a sense that the world used to be like more robust and industrious and full of life before the sun went out.
Yes, more breadcrumbs, more world building. Oh, hi, what's this fridge with the stuff on it? This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. We just got some things. All right, so let's see. Magnets, an assortment of colorful magnets. Scissors, a pair of scissors found amidst hair. An empty tube used to hold water. It's a sink. I wonder if I can use the empty tube like on the sink. Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Hey, all right. I just filled a tube. It's a fridge. All right, was there anything this way? No. Okay, I think we have explored all that I can explore here. For now, anyway. Uh, what if I go this way? I can't, can't do, can't do that. What if I go down this way? Oh, there's a bed here. Okay, so I know where the bed is. I'm not really keen on using that just yet. Let's see. So this way is blocked. That way is blocked. And then what's down this way? That's blocked. That's blocked. Ah, so I can go in here. I'm gonna double back though, cause I'm uh, also wanting to check out the area on like the northeast part here. Yeah, this area right here. Doing this kind of systematically. Oh, hello clock face person. Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Oh, whoops. Oh, there was more. Good evening. Your time here is precious. Cherish it. I will. Good evening. Please do cherish it. Okay. What's this way? Hi, what's this? A tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. <laughs> Why would a tape dispenser be bolted to the table? Well, I guess... I guess they anticipated the arrival of, uh, of a game protagonist, and they didn't want to make it easy to grab the things. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? They're just bolted so people won't steal them. <laughs> Feel free to use, though. Oh, okay. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. Okay, so I can use the stapler and the tape dispenser. I just can't take them. All right. Fair. Um, so where am I currently? Some kind of computer terminal. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and... Can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, uh, never mind. I am only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Okay. So have to keep that in mind. Ooh, the music changed here. Oh, is this computer on? You're going to need this soon. Also, here's another question I have. So this computer is talking to, not Nico, but talking to me, Jeff, the player. Who is talking to me? Who is talking to me through this computer? That's a question I have. That's, that's a mystery. I wonder if that'll be explained. We'll see. Take this film and expose it to the void. 
The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Strange, strange transparent sheet. Thank you for the preemptive blind and spoilers, friends. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yes, when I when I ask questions aloud, I'm not actually asking for help. I'm just like wondering aloud. Ignore my questions. <laughs> Ignore me. Weird film. A transparent sheet filled with numbers. Hmm. Long staircase. Oh, this is a locked door, huh? A heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Hmm. Just doing a lap around here. All right. Hmm, where am I now? Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights? All these people? I guess most of this world's population lives here. And there really is something about just like looking at a big city at night. Like I, I spent 10 years living in Chicago and now I live in, in New York City and there's just like something magical about a city skyline at night with everything lit up. This is a long corridor. It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. Wait, what's going on? That is simple. It's spoiler. You can find the answer to your question when you're spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's the trade-off, Egwene. Like, you don't really get stars at night in a big city. And I kind of miss being able to see stars pretty easily. What about you, Jeff? Oh, what about me? Where do you live? I live in a city. A city? Like this? Yeah, I was just talking about it. Didn't you hear me? Weren't you listening? <laughs> wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting. And kind of scary. The view is nice, though. It sure is. It sure is, kid. Oh, did this just loop back around? Got it. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can use the light bulb on the weird film. Ha! Yes! Hmm. Interesting. So, what happens if I go back to you? Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? No. <laughs> Fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. So if I use it, like, if I use it here. Or maybe, or maybe I'll know, maybe I'll know when I'm supposed to use it. Point is, I know how to use it, <laughs> so. <laughs> this game is totally listening on my conversations. It's true, Egwene, it's true.
Wait, what's wait, what's going on? What what does Sal do? Something about making a spreadsheet? Oh yeah, Sal, have you been like just capturing all my quotes and st like storing them somewhere? Because <laughs> that's pretty. That's a lot of dedication. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, let's go, let's go this way. Yeah, collect those points, copper. Collect the hell out of those points. Hi, what's this? It's an empty coffee tin. Empty coffee tin. Made of aluminum, says coffee grounds. Oh! I can make a button out of that, can't I? Can I cut it with scissors? Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the tin of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape, just like arts and crafts. Oh my gosh! Remember when I was talking earlier about coffee grounds? I didn't realize I was actually close to what the solution actually is. Mm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator with our magnets? Well, let's find out. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but. Oh, what if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm. It's holding together, if just barely. I hope that's good enough. Oh my god. <laughs> Ground. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you guessed this and we were like, OMG. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I didn't even realize that my my just like BSing around was actually like really close to what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, hi, I've got your button. Alright, let's hope this works. The button fits snugly and I think I hear the machine powering on. The button completely fell apart. <laughs> Hey, you tried. Oh no. Oh well. Wait. Tape. That's what I gotta use the tape for. To hold it all together. Alright, alright. I see you, game. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's, it's labeled you tried. Oh my god. <laughs> a tape dispenser. Oh, I can hold it together with tape. I should have done this in the first place. Ba da 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 da. Yay. All right. Now we've got a taped button. Hello again. Good evening. Your time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. Alright, um, oh, you know what? I want to do this real quick. I wonder if I can, like, pour more water onto... Oh, you're right. I did, I did miss that person in the cafe. I totally forgot about that. I did ignore them. What's the situation here? Give it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Can I give it more water? Guess not. All right. I know, I was so excited about the button that I neglected to talk to the actual person in the cafe. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. 
Yeah, it's a really slow day. You think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I'd seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. Coffee grounds! Yes! He, um... He didn't get it. That's a shame. That's really a shame. I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and then rushes back out? He, uh, really, really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress, I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. It's something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later. Maybe I can. I think I know. Milk and sugar. I like both. But not in coffee. Oh, but it's great in coffee. Yo, how's it going, Blues? Happy Thursday. Welcome in. Uh, I am enjoying the city so far. So I was immediately delighted to find out that there's like a sacred garden and we can like replant Maze's seed and hopefully bring Maze back. So I'm very good about that. I did, in fact, somehow <laughs> predict the coffee grounds. Like I was just joking around about like something to do with with coffee grounds and then and then yeah sometimes kicking things is cathartic true jen it's true um oh and then there was the penguin the creepy hello penguin <laughs> i was like yeah cop copper's got the recap right there <laughs> so that'll catch you up on what's been going on <laughs> um all right, so actually I'm gonna go back to the maintenance area and see if I can talk to you. <laughs> I did just leave the screen, it's true. Actually, let me go check in here again real quick. I want to talk to this guy. All right. So probably there will be something later on where I'm going to need to do something with that guy. Anyway, let's fix the elevator. All right. Tapes button. You're going to work this time. Let's hope this works. Oh, that's not good. Uh, reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, this elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Jeff. Hmm. I'm... Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me look at this thing again. There was like a picture in one of the apartments that had like a bunch of ones and zeros on it. I'm actually wondering if that's related to this. Let me see if I can find it real quick. An abstract painting. Landscape painting. Hold on. I do have the weird film. No, it wasn't here. Where are you? 
picture of many ones and zeros. Nope, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> it's probably gonna be more obvious when I get to the spot where I need to use it. Oh, I can't fast travel this right. Hmm. I love this elevator it has somehow designed such that a missing button forces the whole system to reboot. Yes. It's like, if the, uh... Like, if the... If the page up key fell off of my keyboard and it caused, like, my entire... Entire rig to... To stop, then <laughs> that would be terrible. Am I taking notes? Um, you know what? I haven't been taking notes of this stream yet. Let me talk to this guy again. Can I help with anything? Anything at all. Being so unproductive for so long, it's really getting to me. I think Jeff and I got it handled. What do you think, Jeff? Um, tell him to use random codes or tell him to stand there? Uh, tell him to stand there. <laughs> Maybe you can just take it easy for a while. Hooray. My least favorite thing to do. Hmm. figure this out. I don't think cafe guy has anything new. Or maybe maybe he does. Oh, you're still here! Would you, uh, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. Hmm. No, I never actually tried examining the keypad itself, so <laughs> hold on a sec. Please input security code to continue. Ah, nope, don't know what it is. Access denied. It needs a code. I need the codes. I must get into Zion. You're going to help me, or you're going to die. Hey, computer. Still clueless. Figures. Want another tip? Sure, give me another tip. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again? Wait, hold on, what? Hey, welcome in, Fierce Thunder. Happy Thursday to ya. You are testing my patience. Do you really want the answer? Uh, yes? When you view the film, it fills your entire window into our world, yes? Yes, it does. I believe you refer to the action I can describe as dragging. The void is beyond the borders of your view. Through the void and back again. So hold on. So if I do this, if I drag the window. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I have to drag it off my screen and then back onto the screen. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. That was not obvious. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Yo, how's it going, Sliders? Welcome in. Happy Thursday. 
Remember when Lauren figured that out, she was blown away? Oh my gosh. Yeah, if it hadn't told me about the dragging thing, I don't think I would have gotten that. <laughs> oh, good heavens. All right. Cool. So let's see. Let me write this down. Pen. Let's see. Yeah, Copper, I'm wondering, like, how do you code some of the things in here <laughs> that they do? Like, the game, like, puts a document into your My Documents folder. The game knows your name when you start. And the game, like, changes your background, like, on your desktop. It is... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I thought it was going to be... That's what I thought, too, Jen. I thought it was going to be some kind of overlay thing, but... Nope. And you all got to see it change? That's awesome. Okay, so 63014. Also, I still want to find out who is, like, talking to me through the computer in the game. <laughs> Hal, says Manuel. Alright, please input security code. So, let's see. Six, three, zero, one, four. Bam! What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works! Good job, kid! You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Jeff, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. <sighs> I'm having trouble staying awake, Jeff. We should find a place for me to take a nap. Ah, yes. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright? Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. It's alright. All right, let's see. Gotta boop a doop a doo. Let's hit play. In Steam. Let's see, I have no idea how game capture works, but can you change the capturing method so we see the section of the screen with the game window instead of the window itself? Um, there, there is a way to do that, Blue Glass. I would have to. You know what? Hold on a sec. I bet I could actually I bet I could actually do that real quickly here. I would have to I would have to add a I'd have to do like monitor capture, I think, but let me yeah, display capture actually. Let me let me grab that real quick. Yeah, let me do a I'm gonna do a screen capture and then I'll just crop it to the game window. Let me do that real quick. It shouldn't take, it, it won't take me too long. It'll take me like a, like a minute. All right, so let's do display capture. Um, let's call this display capture one shot. Uh, da, 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 add source, ba, ba, ba. there we go. All right, so we got that. Yeah, <laughs> y'all can see my desktop here. Do, to do, to do. All right, let's, First of all, let's drag this down the scene a little bit. Do, do, do. All right, let's crop this thing. Do, 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 do. Filters. Crop pad. Done. All right, let's do some guesswork here. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, if you bear with me a little bit, folks, I will have this perfectly sized for your viewing pleasure. Let's see, if I bump that up to 550. About 650. Do, 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 do. Let's go with six three nine right two. Oops. Huh. 
<laughs> Behind the scenes of Brennamania. Yes, that's right. Suggest to make a full desktop capture as well. You'll thank me later. Mm, all right. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I have to think off the top of my head how I would handle that, but... Alright, and then let's just crop the bottom more properly. Maybe 300 will do it. Let me make sure that's... yeah. Alright, we're good there. Actually, let's bump this up to 640 and 640. Alright. Alright. Then let's just lay this on top of... Current game window. Then I can probably do, 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 do. Take that off. And let's drag this down here. All right, and then let's save that. Cool. All right, awesome. So y'all should be able to see any pop-ups that happen. Uh, the way it's set up now. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Seth. <clears throat> and then you suggest, suggest I make a full desktop capture as well, Fierce Thunder. Um, let's see. Hold on. Um, you know, I'll worry about that later, actually. But thanks for the heads up there. At least, at least I know that that's something I'll have to think about later on, so... All right, heading out, Egwene. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Uh, good luck with your move. I hope it goes well, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. Take care. All right. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Anyway, we've got a dream. <gasps> pancakes. Look at that big old stack of pancakes with butter and syrup. It looks delicious. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, no, no, no. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> Mama, pancakes! Oh, hold on. I gotta slightly adjust the cropping here because I see it's a little bit off on the right side. Do, 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 do. Actually, let me check the left cropping too. Okay, so da, da, da. There we go. Perfect. The perfect cropping. Jeff, I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? I did see her, yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Aw, oh, pancakes for your birthday. That sounds lovely. Just had pancakes for dinner without even thinking about it. That's awesome, Blue Glass. Probably subconsciously influenced by knowing this was coming. Oh my goodness. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. That's just the law. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? I do, in fact. Yes. Oh. Then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Oh, Sliders, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Five bits for pancakes. Poggers. I do like pancakes, yes. Me too. Lauren says we should cheer you on. I guess I should. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Al. I appreciate that. <laughs> Go, Jeff. <laughs> thanks. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And, oh, one of the neighbors makes, one of the neighbor, ah, blah, 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 let me try that again. And, oh, one of our neighbors make a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? We do have neighbors, yes. Oh, do they share their food with you? Nope. <laughs> we never even talked to them, actually. No. That's not very nice of them. We're gonna have to go bang on our neighbor's doors and tell them it's not nice that they don't share food with us. I'm sure that'll go well. <laughs> 
Yeah, sounds like New York City. Yep, yep, sure does. <laughs> Where is our pierogi? <laughs> Yo, Cello, how's it going? Can't say for long, but decided to at least take one shot at attending stream. Perfect. That's awesome, Cello. You're all good. We got we got other people backing you up on the on the on the clipping and stuff like that, so. I had Canon Nico as 10 years old because of the number of pancakes. I was just thinking that actually, Blue Glass. I meant to say something. Like, I was wondering if Nico got 10 pancakes because Nico turned 10. Like, that would be such a kid thing. That's such a birthday thing. Imagine if Nico lives to be like 100. <laughs> 100 pancakes for your 100th birthday. You are not allowed to die until you finish every single one. <laughs> Anyway, our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Oh, they got like some kind of communal thing going on, it sounds like. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watching anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. You're old enough to be the messiah. <laughs> the picture of Dorian Gray, but the really old hotcakes. <laughs> Jen, dies eating pancakes. <laughs> You would love 20 pancakes, but only if they're actually latkes. <laughs> nice. That's awesome, Copper. Alright. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. Oh, Nico. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. I'm sure they're worried about you, Nico. I'm sure it sounds like you have a wonderful family and community and they all love you and they're wondering where you are. Unless maybe this is one of the situations where, like, you're, like... Like, in the other world, you're just, like, seemingly passed out for a few minutes, and then you wake up and it's as, if, it's as if nothing has happened, and everyone else didn't even notice the passage of time. I wonder if it's something like that. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. This whole game is just a pancake food coma. <laughs> the other world is Narnia? <laughs> Um, let's check in on the garden real quick again. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Actually, you know what? I want to go talk to... Let's go to the apartments. I'm going to go talk to the garden dude again real quick. Pothead. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Although, Pothead did give us the dirt. But I just want to make sure there's not, like, anything else that I should have gotten. Most of the plants in our world tend to grow in the Glen. Even if it's facing the flooding issues, it's still better conditioned than the other than the other two areas. Barrens is, well, the Barrens. <laughs> and Refuge City has barely enough ground to stand on, let alone grow stuff. On a larger scale than this, I mean. Good luck with that seed now. Alright. <laughs> I've given you sunshine, I've given you dirt, you've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. <laughs> nice. Oh, I I know Fierce Thunder. That's kind of that's kind of why I'm saying it too. <laughs> I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's go into the elevator deck then. Oh hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? <laughs> oh shoot, you've been waiting this whole time, and and holding the door open. <laughs> well, I uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. The guy waited for us while we were napping this whole time. Ah, uh, some good old elevator music. So, Elf, I think... I think originally the deal with this game is that you had to beat it in one sitting or else like if you quit out of the game other than like at the part where you like go take a nap and take a dream 
and, and like have a dream happen, um, like the the sun would like shatter and be game over. So <laughs> awkward elevator alerts. <laughs> Sure is taking a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. <laughs> oh, maybe we can maybe we can chat to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Jeff, should I? Ask about his job, ask about the city, ask about the library, or resume awkward silence. Uh, let's just go in order. Ask about his job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. <laughs> it's what powers most of this city's stuff. Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So, until they fix them, they'll just- I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. <laughs> Alright, Jeff, should I ask about the city? This city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. <laughs> Getting pretty crowded, too. First, there is the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff we just saw? We got more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Jeff, should I ask about the library? Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. <laughs> you and Jeff. Aw, oh, he thinks I'm a smart person. He thinks I am an intelligent god. I will spare him when the rapture comes. <laughs> anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. Gotta run, gotta run now, gotta run, gotta run now, ba da ba <laughs> He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Jeff. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. <laughs> Jeff the Wrathful God. <laughs> ah, so there's different fast travel options now. I wonder if I can go back up. The elevator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Oh, okay. Cool. So I can go back up. That's good to know. Hello, robot. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> you do that again? Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> oh, hello there, dapper gentleman in a top hat. <sighs> you alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know! But what do you think? I... think... I think I should listen to Jeff. <laughs> After all, Jeff helped me get this far. I mean... <laughs> please, go on. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. What a strange person. <laughs> oh my god, Sal, I know that song too. 
Because I used to go to church camp when I was a kid. Hmm, so the arrows tell me I should go that way. So I'm gonna go this way instead. <laughs> oh, hello there. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a coffee? No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> it means people who aren't kids? I beg to differ. Grown-ups are just kids in different bodies. Bigger bodies. Handsomer bodies. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> Newsy robot. <laughs> kids? Uh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. <laughs> Right. Evening news, evening news. I am not certain that it is evening, but my light sensors are not detecting daylight. I will assume it is evening. <laughs> what if I equip the light bulb and talk to them with the light bulb? Disturbance was detected from the ground access elevator on Main Street. However, the issue quickly resolved itself before investigations could take place. Alright, well, let's... Wait. No, there were, like, some stairs going down this way, weren't there? Yes! Okay. Hmm. What's over here? Also, I'm gonna unequip the light bulb. Oh, hello, robot. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks! Oh, we found the library! Yay! When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Hmm, what a question. If the world was ending, would you rather it be over in an instant or do you want it to slowly fade away? Don't see anybody over here. Just gotta poke around the nooks and the crannies. Alright, so library, huh? What? But why well, didn't say anything? Well, stop staring at me then! I was just looking at your book. Yes, you were in a library. There's books in the library. <laughs> um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Sorry. Jeez, what a jerk. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. <laughs> Robo Dickinson. <laughs> Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. pile of books on the ground. A pile of books on the ground. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Hmm, what's in this photo? A photo of some people. Hello, blue-haired person. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs. And, uh... I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry! That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author, then? No? Oh, that's good! Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for adding that, Fierce Thunder. <laughs> I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's an introvert and just doesn't want to be around people, you know? People can be exhausting. <laughs> nice, Fierce Thunder. Yeah, um, 
And I could also I could also go into like uh, I can go into uh, Brennabot and edit quotes later on. So if you don't get it perfectly, it's totally fine. Like nothing wrong with that. Some sort of plaque. Hello, robots. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. What about you? Yep, still scared of ladders. <laughs> A computer, it's currently off. Hmm, let's see. How would you picture of some sort of plaque? Oh, what are these clover books? A big book with a black clover on the cover? The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Oh, hello. I think I might want to take notes here. Da 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 da. Alright. So, chapter 5 A survey of phosphors found in the natural world. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses a glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. Well, good thing I'm carrying a sun around with me. Um, ba, 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 ba. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Blue phosphor, location of the barons, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this all out loud, but I am gonna take pictures. I'm just gonna scan the text briefly. Blue phosphor is moderate levels of energy. That's for shrimp. Light emission of blue phosphor is powerful. Self-conserving properties. The glow may not be constant. Okay. A motor should be set at the baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor, location the glen. Green phosphor is of the highest energy. Also, the rarest of the common phosphors can only be found in organic form. Sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, various mosses. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. Currently no reliable source. And then red phosphor, location here. Red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. Ah. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. It can create artificial high energy state. Major caveat is that the phosphor in the supernaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Hmm. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Hmm. So there's another book here. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in the Post-Sun World. Ah, so stuff about phosphor shrimp and the common firefly. Oh, and that's it. All right. Well, I capture that in f in film. So, oh, did I t did I talk to this mughead? <laughs> so, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. I did read a little bit. I think the author publishes books at highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. 
I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Eh, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. You're going through those pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. <laughs> oh? Yeah, the author doesn't write only books. He also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. Oh, I just noticed that it says book club on the board here. A green marker. This dry erase board is made of metal. Oh, did I talk to you, binocular head? The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. A photo of some plants. Ooh, a stack of books. A pile of books on the ground. <laughs> oh my god, bookworm. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice prayer there. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author! I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh... I mean, I ain't hatin'. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it, it just hurts, you know? <laughs> it's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. <laughs> and mousers. This NPC is a direct reference to people comparing One Shot and Undertale. Oh my gosh. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> but I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. That is wonderful. Computer. Currently off. All the computers are off. They're very responsible about conserving electricity, which kind of makes sense given the state of the world. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me I should look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She is not picking up. <laughs> is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. <laughs> when she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. <laughs> Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. <laughs> then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Oh my goodness. I love the long, awkward rate, the long, awkward wait while the phone is just ringing and ringing and ringing. That's great. <laughs> she left you on read. <laughs> oh God. Coffee machine, it's almost empty. I ask, I remember the days when seeing that someone left me on read gave me anxiety. 
Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. <laughs> no! Allow me to call her. No! <laughs> no, not again. Ugh! Oh good, it only rang twice. <laughs> nope, 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 it didn't. It's ringing more. <laughs> Look on Nico's face. <sighs> she is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> so I guess... So I guess part of being tamed, whatever that means, is your programming then becomes flexible. I think it's gotta have something to do with like free will or something. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. <laughs> um... But I have to stay awake! I need to find out how this book ends! Um... Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers! Wow, this would be a really good read. Hmm, so how to get a library card? You know, I've tried looking for the flying machine with my binoculars for ages. Never saw such a thing, though. It's an ink bottle complete with a quill. Brings back memories, doesn't it, Jeff? It sure does. Well, I think I changed at least a half book's worth of content. And even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't all that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. Hmm. What if I have to leave the library to find a library card? Because there's still more world to explore, and I think I've talked to everyone here already. Tamed or untamed? Calculon. Did I go this way? I forget. Oh yeah, this is how I came this way, but I haven't gone this way yet. It's locked from the inside. Hmm, okay. When the Mark of Athena came out, I literally mentioned it one night, and when my siblings pulled me away from the book, I was catatonic until my mom told me to go back to reading. <laughs> oh my god, Copper, that's... that's amazing. Gotten all A's in your report card, you earned that book. Yeah, if you got all A's in that, you certainly earned that. Oh good, we're in a dark alley somewhere. It's a trash bin. It's a trash bin. What the? What was that? Jeff, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something? Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Good question. I wonder what that was about too. I can go that way. But let's see what's down here. Ah, so there's another stairwell this way. It's a faded flyer. It's a faded flyer. Don't know what they say? It's just gonna be a faded flyer? Alright. Oh, hi, what's this? A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram? Alright. Who did it? Who put the ram in the ramalama ding dong? Was it you? I know it was you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Who put the bop in the bop sh bop sh bop? 
It's strangely warm in this room. <laughs> it's Greece. I'm referencing Greece. <laughs> it's strangely warm in this room. Oh, there's a bunch of cats here. There's cats and a robot. Cat sound. Meow. Meow. I'm just gonna keep petting the cats. Meow. Oh, that's so cute. It's purring. This one's purring. Oh. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Jeff to guide me. I see. Anything else you have to say? It's warm here. Yeah, this was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. I was gonna say, your head looks kind of like a space heater. This track is chill. Oh, it, it, it's a nice purpose. Ugh. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Jeff and I got stuff to do. I see. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna pet these cats now. Meow. Cat ASMR stream, everyone. This is now a cat ASMR stream. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'll leave. If I don't leave, I'm gonna, like, stay there and pet the cats forever, which... is not a bad thing, honestly. <laughs> We've lost him to the cats. The game will never end. I'm in a catatonic state now. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, hello. There's a thing here. Okay, I just want to check. I'm technically outside. Good to know. Oh, there's squares here. On top of a robot, it looks like. P please. Do not approach. All right, so don't approach that thing. I'll see what's in here. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Jeff, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. All right. Got a heavy disc. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Not a heavy disc. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Oh, wow. We've got... Oh, interesting. Concave lens, convex lens, thick lens, thin lens. Hmm, interesting. I feel like there's going to be some kind of puzzle later on involving these. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Lamplighter? From... from the boys? Oh god. Things are about to get grossly violent. <laughs> oh no. A jar full of red glowing fluid. Oh, but I can't take it with me. <laughs> I was gonna add the catatonic quote to you, but nah. <laughs> nice. A bed. The blanket has quite a few patches. Empty coffee cups. Alright. Well, we got a bunch of lenses. Um, wasn't there... Yeah, there was a stairwell over here. Leading up to this room. 
Ooh, what's this? Whoa! Jeff, did you see that fox just now? I did see it. It just ran behind the tree. You're becoming more like your father, fox. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> if we added every pun we made on the stream, the quote up would be willing to the thousands by now. It's true. Like, let's be honest, that is very true. <laughs> yes, mysterious fox. Oh, hello there, Mughead. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Anyway, I'm gonna write down, like, mysterious fox. Just to remind me there's a mysterious fox. Hey, kid. Okay, we're gonna pass on that. Hey, toaster head. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Hello, hooded person. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. You do that. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad though, do you want one? It's okay, thank you. Just talk to all the stranger food vendor people. Hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Uh, yeah, blow my mind, go for it. Okay, so, I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. <laughs> and then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Maybe I could use something like that. Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me, go spread the word. I know how we're gonna use that. <laughs> the pill is just cyanide, <laughs> it's just cyanide. That's why you never need to drink water ever again. Um, all right, let's go with water pill. Let's combine it with a tube of water. So, put the pill in the water. Put the lime and the coconut to drink them both together. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Welly, welly, welly. All right. Uh, let's go to the... Well, actually, let's see if there's anything else here. Where does this kick us back out? Where are we now? Factory. Okay, we'll explore the factory a bit later. Um, Let's... I know, I know what we're gonna do with that water. We're gonna take it back to the sacred garden. But first, I want to see if there's anything else down this way. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, pal. Hey, you looking for me? Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, uh, yeah. I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. <laughs> The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory? Just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Oh, of course, a scientist. 
Got three exams tomorrow and none of them easy. Oh my gosh, good luck with that tomorrow, Cello. We'll be rooting for you. Let us know how you do. Take care. Thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Good luck to you. All right, uh, let's go back to the elevator street. And let's go back up. Ba ba. Mm hmm. La la. All right, and let's travel to the garden. Got something to make plants grow faster. Uh, do 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 do. Medicated water. There we go. Good thinking, Jeff. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. Just to make absolutely sure, we can't use the sun to make it grow faster. Good luck, little plant. Okay. All right. Perfect. I feel good about what we've accomplished there. We're gonna make maize grow back. Yay. <laughs> Awkward silence. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. so to the factory then. Oh wow, that zipped us like right by the factory entrance, didn't it? I want to double back and make sure that I didn't miss anything from like the direction we were supposed to come from. From here, right? This is going to take us back to Vendor Street. Yeah. This being thorough. All right, ba 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 ba. Let's see. So we got a door here. We've got like a our main entrance here. It looks like, and then we've got a door over here. Let's start with door number three this time. Hello, robot. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. Ooh. It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. Okay, let's uh, take pictures of this now. Because this seems like it might be vital information. Oh, is this like 3D printing happening? It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. <laughs> Let's see. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Management. Ah, very good. Don't know exactly what this is referring to yet, but I imagine we'll find out soon. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Ooh, puzzles. Oh, I wonder if that's what we're going to be using the lenses for. Because I suspected the lenses were for a puzzle. At some point. Alright, let's check out door number one now. Go to the left. Oh, hello, scientist person. The luminescence index of red liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to... Be, we'll have to uh, have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. Uh, it's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. You can tell they're scientists because they're wearing a white coat. It's true. What are we going to do? If the city runs out of light, well, I don't want to think about what happens then. 
A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. All right, well, this scientist is not helping at all. Not even paying attention. I mean, sure, I'm barging in and trying to interrupt, the, interrupt their work, but, you know. At least acknowledge my presence. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Oh, this must be the puzzle. Allow me! Um, how do I solve this? That is a part of the test. Bummer. Hmm. Zero lights correct. Access denied. Nine tries left. Oh, okay. Um, so what are my options here? Hmm. Okay, so I know... So... Got it. So this is what the game was telling me to do. Alright, um, let me do this on a separate index card. So I know that none of them are yellow. So let me actually do this. We've got, so we've got yellow. We've got, um, hold on, what are the different colors here? We've got blue. We've got green. And then we've got red, okay. Okay, so let's go with W, B, G, R. I mean, Y, B, G, R. Y, B, G, R. Y, B, G, R. I'm just jotting stuff down. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of like, Mastermind. So let's see. Um, alright. So we've eliminated yellow as being any of them. So let's try blue. Two lights are correct. So we know that two of them are blue. Eight tries left. Um... And none of them are green, okay. So that means three of them are red and two of them are blue. All right. Yeah, blue. Yeah, blue glass. I I was just thinking to myself like, it, this does seem pretty lucky because, uh, you know, you could probably have you could probably have puzzles where it's like you know one yellow, one blue, two green, one one red, and uh, probably be tricky to figure out. So, um, but yeah, so now I have like seven turns left to figure out the correct combination here. Um, do, 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 do. let's go with uh. So I know that this configuration, two lights are correct. Ah, uh, so now one light is correct. So hold on a sec. Um, do, 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 do. So... So when they are all blue, two were correct. In this configuration, one is correct. So that so that could mean that one of the two blue on the left are correct. Or let me back up. So so they were so two of them were correct before I changed those three to red. What what might have happened is it's possible that 
two of the blue ones on like the the right side of it it's possible that both of those were the correct blue ones but then like one of them is correct red one let's see so let's see one line is correct in this configuration access denied six tries left uh let's see how do i want to do my next step here What if I did... I'll change that back for a sec. Yeah, I'm trying to sort out, so... So there's, there's two possibilities. One is that one of these two blue is correct. As they are. And the other possibility is that two of these three blue are correct. Oh, actually actually yeah, what I need to what I need to do is figure out Wait a second. No, hold on. Not, okay. Neither of these are blue. That's what it has to be. Because if, if one of these was blue, like if one of these was supposed to be blue, then, then at least one of these red buttons should have been correct. I think. Yeah, because there's only two there's only two blue altogether, so So neither of these are actually blue. Both of these are actually red. And when I so when I pull this, I'm expecting it to say 4. I think. Let me let me think that through one more time. Um, yeah, because if if either so let me let me I'm talking this out. So if either one of these like were supposed to be blue, there are only two blues altogether. So when I change these three to red, at least one of them should have been correct. So I should have had like more than one correct in that configuration if that were true. But I think what's going on is both of these are red. Two of these three have to be blue. So when I pull the lever here, I'm expecting four to be correct. Yes, okay, all right, cool. All right, so now it's just down to figuring out which one of these three is red. I have five tries to do it, so that's, I'm gonna get this. All right, it's not that one. Got it. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, that that took me a moment. I'm glad I'm glad I realized that the uh when I did the blue blue red 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 configuration, that that gave me more information than I realized initially, so Yay! I feel smart. <laughs> but also, it also helped that it gave me an easy solution, too. Yo, how's it going, yum? Happy Thursday! Hopping in towards the end here, yeah! We're getting closer, I think. Uh oh, this person looks, looks panicked. <gasps> My robot! What happened? I don't know, I, I left for a minute and... What am I going to do? Yeah, 
Yep, the RNG gods blessed me this day. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Oh yeah, are we gonna find Dr. Silverpoint? None of us here have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. Mood! That was actually a mood last week, but... I've been sleeping better this week, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. <laughs> she fell asleep standing. A coffee machine. It's almost empty. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Th that energy? These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. I cannot stop spinning. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Fair question though. What does that have to do with anything? Why can't a person just have a TV for a head? Why? I ask you. Oh, where does... Hold on, where does this kick me out? Oh, out here. Okay. Gotcha. Did I go up this way? I don't know if I went up this way yet. Ah, okay, here we go. There sure are a lot of computers here. And they look important, too. It finally gets acknowledged. Monitoring, 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 monitoring. I want to press all of the buttons, but I must resist. Ugh, the squares particles just, the squares particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Uh, the Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Mm, not good at all. Oh, we already talked to these people. Let's go this way. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Jeff helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. <laughs> it's adorable that she's wa watching her language for Nico's sake. <laughs> yeah, shoot, darned, yes. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out the library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. Sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks! There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot! I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. <laughs> Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. What's this glowy thing here? Something is poking out from this shelf. 
It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Ever know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. We just got a thing. Pretty little thing. Oh, the music just stopped. Oh, nope, there it goes again. <laughs> Can I talk to you some more? So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. You get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. Ha, huh, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. <laughs> Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. Well, that's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. <laughs> Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me! I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Well, thank you. Hey, Jeff. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Yeah, let's do that, actually. Good call. Actually, that makes perfect sense. Like, the robot is named Silver, and I'm guessing this is Dr. Silver Point, so... Connection? Oh? Th that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see... <sighs> yep, it's the same music, too. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Oh, was that the incident that they're talking about? Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Glad the game prompted for players who don't think to try. Yeah, yeah, me too. Even if she talked a little weird, Ah, uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker that... <laughs> after he was through, she ended up she ended up turning out like blah 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 blah. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. She tried to make a Reploid without doing the whole seal in a castle for 30 years thing, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Oh, is this Kip? Wait, is, is, is her full name Kip Silverpoint? Perhaps? Kip Silverpoint, I presume? Ah, uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will!
I'm gonna write that down. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we have a library card now, so we can go to the library. Are we outside? We are outside. Oh, no, we're not outside. Never mind. Oh, does it? It does say Kip's library card. Kip Silverpoint, PhD. Bam. I piece it together without even looking at the library card. <laughs> Oh, I am outside now, aren't I? Yeah. All right, let's go to the library. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. Hmm, what about the glitter glue? A small tube of pink glitter glue. Can we use the glitter glue, like, on our hair? <laughs> this card- the card is covered in glue and glitter. Library card sticky. There's glitter glue all over her photo now. <laughs> oh, whoops. Invalid card. Photo is missing. Why did I do that? Oh god, so we need a photo now. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what makes a man go neutral, Kip? <laughs> Lust for gold? Power? Hey, how's it going, Game Master? It will soon be time. <laughs> Welcome in, happy Thursday. Pull up a chair and get cozy. Hmm. So, I need to find, like... A way to put a picture of me on there or something? I'm wondering if I have anything I can combine. Nope, can't combine weird film with anything. If I combine the light bulb with the library card, I can't combine those. What about the feather in the library card? Can't combine those. Let's see. So I should probably double back. There might be some places I haven't checked yet. Do to do to do. Um, let's go to check the back alley. Oh, was there accidental blue uh, backseating? No, you're good, Blue Glass. I know you're just trying to help. But yeah, let me see if I can figure it out. <laughs> we hide spoilers with bleps. <laughs> I love it. Let's see, oh, this is the entrance to the alley. Yeah, let me double check and make sure I didn't miss any rooms back here. So there's a lot of alley happening. This is the way to the cats, right? Yep, sure is. So, where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. They felt kind of bad. And with robots, it's alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. You have been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering, though. 
<laughs> haven't seen the Celeste streams. Just bleps and only bleps for like half an hour. It's true. <laughs> there was a lot of bleps. Oh yeah, this goat thing is still here. Or ram, rather. ram a lama ding dong Forgot about the ram thing. Need to make a note of that. Uh... Ram thing. Alley. Hmm. Wonder... I'm just gonna, like, see if I can use, like, some random things. I'm just gonna try, like, maybe using, I don't know, any of these lenses. Nah, this is probably nothing. I'm just brute forcing it now. I probably don't have what I need for this. I'll probably be more obvious. I think we might have some bots. Yeah, <laughs> it's possible. Let's double check these stairs. Right, there's a... Oh wait, is this our, is this our friend's house? glass jars. Oh, it's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Let's see. Do to do to do. Hold on a sec, friends. Do 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 do. All right, here's the tree. Uh, maybe we can go talk to our lamp lighting friend about uh, what to do next. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's, uh, taking a while. I think it might be leaking. <laughs> he looks busy. You can tell, huh? Hmm. Don't suppose there's, uh... Oh, wait, that was a... I didn't realize that was a entryway. Oh, oh, I get it. This is, this is sidewalk here. Okay. What's this? <laughs> didn't do anything. What is this thing? There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Oh, is this like a photo booth? Okay. Hold on, are there any other buildings that I can go into that I didn't realize I could go into previously? Actually...
It's an empty rectangular slot. It's like something can fit here. Oh, this for the lenses, perhaps? Um... Let's see, let's... Hmm. Ah, okay. I'm sure there's probably, like, an order to this, but... Oh, goodness. Okay. So it wasn't the right combination. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's do... Maybe... Whoops! Maybe, like, thick lens, and then... Concave lens, and then... Convex lens, and then... Thin lens. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. My miracle luck refuses to continue. <laughs> yep, it's true. Hmm. Alright, so... There's... So we got, like, what? Large... Concave, convex, and small. And the order I just tried was large, concave. Wait, was is this concave or convex? It's concave, okay. So I tried large, convex, concave, small. Hmm. What if I should Google, like, camera lens structure? <laughs> like, how do camera lenses work? I don't know. I wonder if I wonder if there's like some info that I, I was supposed to like dig up at some point about how to do these things. Well, oh, <laughs> uh, thanks for the video reaction, uh, Sal. Uh, we'll do that at the end of stream. I was about to say everything you need is in game, but then remembered the safe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's see. There's only like, well, there's only so many possible combinations of these things. So let's try. I'm just gonna brute force it. I think. <laughs> Till I get. Till I get one that's right. Um. Okay. So let's do thick lens. <laughs> you do not need to brute force this. You can, but don't. Oh my gosh. Um... Well, hold on, it's not that many combinations. Alright, it's not that. Hmm. 
Mm. Large thick lens. Large lens curved outward. Delicately thin lens. Large lens curved inward. Hmm. This person outside can tell me what to do, probably. Actually, yeah, I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is that the photo center is right behind me. Bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Hey, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Jeff and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. For your photos, da, 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 da. hold on. Okay, so maybe the street vendors can actually tell me what to do. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? <laughs> the camera, oh joyous memories, we went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Oh my gosh. Concave went through thick and thin. So that means concave is between thick and thin. Okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Bulgy lens. I would have gotten it, it would have been boring. Yeah, that's true. So when they say the bulgy lens, do they mean... I'm sure if they mean the convex lens or the thick lens, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. So, thin is between the concave and the convex. Can you tell me about how to get the camera working again? <laughs> yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Okay. So, that means the thick lens is the first one. Because the thin has to be between the curved lenses. Uh, so the only way for that to happen then is for the thick to be the first one. So that means the thin is the third one. So that means either... So that means uh, convex and concave are the second or the fourth lenses. All right. All right, so thick lens goes first. He said the bulgy lens on the end, so I wonder if that means convex goes on the end here. Which means thin goes here. And then concave goes here. Sweet! Uh, cheese? Bam! Ouch, my eyes! picture. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Solve the puzzle thing. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Photo of Nico on the sticky library card. The card has my face on it now. 
<laughs> quote unquote Kip's library card. Perfect. Alright. Uh do 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 travel to the library. <laughs> Can't believe I started googling how to how photograph lenses work. <laughs> Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. <laughs> Yay! We gained access. Small tree. Want to see a list of all the puzzle games that don't require you to break the law? <laughs> a small tree. It's full. Looks like an old phone. Oh, hello there. You must be the savior. And also the cutest darn thing I have ever seen. Uh, um, thank you? Can I help you with anything, sweetie? Mm-hmm. I want to know what I should do next. I think I'm supposed to go in the tower? Oh, that's right, the tower. I know there's a small room that you can go into, but... I'm afraid nobody knows how to get in beyond that. Not even silly old me who spent her entire life reading books about the world. <laughs> uh... I think you need some help from Jeff, but I don't know any details. I've never found any books about this before. You'd think there'd be at least one book on this, but I guess that's just how it is. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma. Uh... Perhaps this strange journal? Oh, I do have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Really now? May I take a closer look, dear? Here. Oh. Oh, my, where did you find this? Somewhere in the barrens. Oh, we found it in a safe. Right, Jeff? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it all right if I hold on to the journal for now, sweetheart? It might take a little while, I'm afraid. Go for it. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, you poor baby. Goodness, you must have worked so hard to help us. I think you deserve a nap, no? A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall to the right. All right. Nap time! Oh, there's a book here, too. A book on the ground. What is this? But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it only felt right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Huh. What is this all about? Interesting. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, let's do that. Oh, goodness. Mm. A stretch. Stretch the old arms for a sec. Oh, that's right. I forgot it was on desktop capture now. <laughs> so let's uh, bring back one shot. Oh, 
Oh, Nico's done eating pancakes. Uh oh. What the? <gasps> oh no. Please just be a dream. Please just be a dream. Don't let it actually be broken. Hey, Jeff. I guess you saw my dream? Yes, I did. It was... Come on, let's go. Oh, hi, is there stuff here? A book is poking out from the shelf. Oh, let's see. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. Oh, this is ProfitBot! I think. On the right is an updated sketch of some modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it should still be capable of delivering the late profit's message. Oh, okay. Wait, the late profit? Oh, so was so was there like a human prophet previously, and they built Prophet Bot to carry on the message? Hmm. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Hmm. Lore. A book is poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. The curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Okay. A book is poking out from the shelf. Oh, this is like a sketchbook of some sort. Okay, let's see. Let's take a picture of this first. So let's see, so we got like a... Kind of like, what, an aviator helmet? And, oh, no, no, come back, come back, come back. A uh, book with a clover on it. Ooh, like a piece of cake. Got little flowers, a little bucket thing, a little volcano thing. Wednesday, another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday, various sketches, practice. Yeah, what is that date system? Good question. There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and this other book has a clover symbol, has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all about clovers? Of course not, dear. The Black Clover the Black Clover is sort of the author's name, you see. Oh? Actually, we don't know his name. He just uses a clover to mark his works is all. So he wrote all of these books? He's a trooper, that. A book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed in high she seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Rachis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musings with his writing and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Interesting. So... So... Rachis is, uh... Calamus and Alula's... father, then. And that's how we got the the feather, if I recall correctly. Oh, we unlocked an achievement. Bookworm. Bookworm, you're an achievement in this game. Did you know? <laughs> ha 
had a good nap, dear? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I have the translation ready for you now. It looks like this journal might be meant for Jeff. Oh? Here, why don't you take a look? Greetings, Jeff. If you can finally read this, it means that you are near the tower. The tower is the domain is the domain of an elusive entity. This is this being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. Oh, this must be the thing that's been talking to me this whole time, right? That's what I'm guessing. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun? Oh, wow. We gotta, like, get the Triforce. <laughs> the savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Jeff, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Hmm. That's all there is to translate. Looks like the other pages have been torn out. Oh. Quite a shame. I was wondering what that window was supposed to mean. Oh well, I guess Jeff can figure that one out. Wait. Window? As in, like... Windows? <laughs> as in, the game window? So hold on, let me read that back. So let's see. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Hmm. So what if that means at some point, like, the game is going to close on me and, like, I have to do something to be able to open the game back up. Right. Oh, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. That means the stuff containing yellow phosphor. They glow for a very long time, so people call them pieces of the sun sometimes. Oh. I do have a piece of amber and a feather, and they're both glowing yellow. Very good, dear. And I can help you with the last one. Oh, yay. Well, that's good. We already got, like, the three pieces of the sun that we need, I guess. Oh. It looks like you? I know! Isn't it silly? But now you'll have something to remind you of the library. Ah, thank you. Good luck now, sweetie. I wish you safe travels. Sliders, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. The champion of the sun. Each piece did have an art shot. That's right. That's true. Uh-oh. Are you hungry, Nico? Hey, Jeff. Do you remember where the cafe is? I do remember where the cafe is. Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So, is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. Let's do it. Back to the cafe. So let's go to the cafe, get some food. Wait, I can I could have just fast traveled to the cafe. Oh well, doesn't take that long to get there anyway. Praise the sun! 
All right, hello, cafe person. Oh, hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Jeff and I went to the surface already, and... Well, I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? <laughs> we sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes? Oh, pancakes. That sounds really good right now. For some reason. <laughs> pancakes! <laughs> I think I might be tempting Manuel. <laughs> oh no, Manuel is hungry. These pancakes are so good. Thank you so much. No problem. You looked really hungry. That stomach rumbling sound is so realistic. I often wonder if it's coming from the game or my real stomach. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm feeling a little hungry too now myself, actually. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad or lonely or... Mama, I really miss her. Oh, Nico, don't cry. I just, I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, uh, there, there. It's going to be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You, you managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. Oh, poor Nico. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Achievement unlocked pancakes? Oh, we got... Pancakes, and it's an achievement. Okay, also there is like a thing up here that I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to get into yet. Was it observation deck, I think? So it wasn't that per se, but... Small screen in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> this computer's off now, isn't it? The screen is off. Hmm. Alright. So maybe I'm not supposed to know that part yet. <laughs> Pancakes! Thanks for clipping that, Sal. And there's that there's that stapler there, but I haven't used the stapler for anything. All right. Anyway, I was just poking around there because I was curious. Uh, do 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 do. Let's see. Travel, travel the world and the seven seas. Uh, everybody looking for something. All right. We gotta find like what the base of the tower now. Beep boop, beep boop.
Also, there's like whatever's going on with the RAM and stuff like that. Can I combine these things? Can't combine those. Okay. Hold on, did I go this way? Oh yeah, this is the back alley. This is also where the ram is, though. Hmm. Did I actually did I actually find out like where the Baram you? <laughs> I'm unclear if I found out like where I'm actually supposed to go next. <laughs> what if I actually I wonder if I should go back to Oh wait, I'm already on the elevator street. I should go back to that giant robot at the beginning of the city. Uh, it, I mean, technically it would be blue glass. But that tells, but by asking that question, that tells me that there's a path I didn't notice. So <laughs> I guess that means I should go back down and look around some more. It's okay. It's all right, Blue Glass. It's totally fine. That's kind of, that's kind of the curse of being someone who's really good at logic and puzzles <laughs> is that I can deduce from comments like things. <laughs> Would it be back if I told you that your character was a cat? Yes, absolutely, Sal. How dare you? Uh, let's see. So we're gonna... Oh wait, I never went in here. <laughs> Again, I didn't notice that that was actually a thing I could go into. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. It's a sink. It's a big fish tank. It's a big fish tank. Is distracting you backseating? Absolutely, Jen. Or not, who can say? All right, so let's go this way again. So I checked this door last time and it was locked from the other side, I think. Locked from the inside. Would it be backseating if I backseated? But if I'm backseating you and you're backseating me, then who's playing the game? Oh god, I don't know. All right, and the library is over here. Let me poke around in the library again, just make sure there wasn't any Thing I missed. I don't think there was. Do 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 do. Yeah, I think I talked to everybody up here. Talked to binocular guy. Oop. 
talked to you, didn't I? Oh yeah, on my third cup. Can't feel my limbs. I have to stay awake. <laughs> Just check down here again. The computer screen says something about updated databases. Looks like a printer. Oh, would you like me to explain again? Yes, please. According to the journal, you must go to the small room at the base of the tower while having the three pieces of the previous sign in your possession. And then you must stand in the room and Jeff will do something about the floor patterns and windows. Oh, makes sense. Thank you. Best of luck, sweetie. All right, so I have to go to the small room at the base of the tower. I just have to figure out where the base of the tower is. Spoiler, Celeste is the mountain. <gasps> Gasp! Fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Try the back alley again. All right, that takes me to the vendor street. Right, and this was Lamplighter's home. This is the tree. Hmm. Do not approach that. This is cat area. I love the cats. They're so good. <laughs> Spoiler, Dark Souls is hard. Spoiler, Demon Souls is hard. Oh god. Hmm, and then there's the ram thing there. Kitty! Love the kitties. <laughs> Spoiler, cats are soft. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Alright, let's, uh... Make sure I'm not, like, make sure I'm not, like, missing anything else from here. goes back to the alley and I went in there that's just like a fish store all right let's try the well let's go to the vendor street actually let's see oh lamplighter's gone And that goes back down to the alley, I'm sure. Alright. Oh, there's a door up there. Did I not go to that door? Oh, no, I didn't go to this door yet. Okay, there we go. See, I'm just following this path right now. Where do you come out? Looks like I can unlock this door. Oh, is this at the elevator path? The elevator room? 
Yeah, Elevator Street, rather. Okay, cool. Shortcut. <laughs> Spoilers, all sent into You all. You're all ridiculous. Oh, hi, are you the base of the tower? Okay, hold on a sec. I thought I saw... Was there anything back this way? Nope. Okay. X. Okay, so I wonder if I'm just supposed to X out of the game now. Let me... Look at the pattern on the floor, do as it says. The window will be gone, so you will need to bring- so you need to bring it back. Okay. So, if I click the X... Okay, it's gone. And now I need to bring it back. Oh, snap! We did the thing! Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Jeff, do you know what happened to the sun? I don't, actually. Jeff? Oh, can you not communicate with me anymore? Jeff? Come on, Jeff, say something. Apparently I can't. Jeff! What's going on? Oh goodness. We're just running around in water now. Don't read chat for a while. <laughs> Come on, how long is it going to have me just running around? Oh, here we go. Hello, Nico. H Hello? Congratulations. You are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Jeff before. Where's... Jeff has already left. What do you mean I left? I'm right here. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so Jeff is gone just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Nuh-uh, I am right here. You can't get rid of me that easily, game. Jeff has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now I don't even have the sun anymore. And Jeff is just gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... Oh man, no items. Can't fast travel. 
never even got to say goodbye to Jeff. This does not feel right. Oh dear, talking to me now. And as for you, Jeff... We're done here. What? Please don't return to this world anymore. Ah, uh, screw you! I am absolutely coming back to this world and you can't stop me. Whoa, okay, hold on a sec. There is something on my desktop. It says, this is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents slash my game slash one shot. Look for this symbol, the clover. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. Okay, all right. Well, hold on, we're gonna put, we're gonna put Nico right back here. And let's see. The game is taking control. Will you let it? No, I'm not going to let it take control, Blues. Absolutely not. All right. So looking at my documents. Hold on. Documents, my games, one shot. Oh, what does read? What does the readme say? Oh. It's just like actually the instructions. It's like a separate application. This is so crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is active. Now we return to this world. Oh, and, uh, did I just patch the game? I think I just patched the game. Apparently, that's what I did. Oh, I don't know if I did it right, though. Hold on. What does it say? It's not over regardless of what the enemy told you. There's more of the story. Look for the symbol. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. Maybe I didn't do that in like the proper order. Okay, so maybe I close the game. Oh, you cannot perform this action during cutscenes. Oh, okay. Please relaunch the game, it says. Do I have to like go into Steam and like stop it? Or like, do I have to wait for this to do something, or? Over and over, Crimson and Clover. <laughs> Oh, I did click on the game. I, let's see. Section during cutscenes. Oh, so. Wait a sec, where'd the game go? Oh, so I, I have to, like, do Clover first, and then... Launch the game. Okay. Da, da, da. My game's one shot. Okay, let's do the Clover first. 
And then... Launch the game. Oh, snap. Okay. Gotcha. Nico. That is wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello? Jeff? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice. In my dream. Ah, uh, I guess you're still not there. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. Ba da 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 da. What do we got? A black clover. You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? <laughs> the game's yelling at me. You! Why did you come back, Jeff? I told you to stay away. Eh, don't tell me how to live my life. You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? You want more out of me, is that it? Fine! If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Oh, uh, goodness. It's- it, yeah, it's mad now. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, hold on. All right, I think we're at the part where I need to be like in full screen now. Hang on a sec. Let me actually, let me fiddle with our uh, display capture for a sec here. Let me turn off the cropping. There's stuff happening in two windows now. <laughs> this is wild, everyone. Uh, it's gonna make it's gonna make the game a little hard to see, though. I think because. The window is smaller now. Hold on a sec. Hold on, I don't know if I can like... I can't like resize this or anything, but... Okay, hold on a sec. Back then I told you about the entity as little as possible. Okay. Why is friend sim an entire folder on your desktop? Uh... Oh, that's just my YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on a sec. Do I put this over... Oh, oh, I see. I see. Gotcha. I have to lay that over on top of the thing. Alright. I see. I see. Okay. You know what? Actually, I wonder if... Maybe I don't need, like, the full screen for this after all. Hold on. I'm gonna... No, come back. Let's put the cropping back on. This is wild. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec. That's not quite centered. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Let's see. All right. So I'll go this way. And then what's next? Okay, so I go up. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Oh, I wonder if the author is talking to me. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Alright, I go up. I've seen people Bruce Force almost the whole section because they don't realize the clover trick. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Ah, uh, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. Ah, so we turn around. Nor can it do anything to me. Alright, we go back down. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I accidentally moved uh, the game. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry, friends. I already left the world on my own terms. Oh shoot, what was that again? Okay, I go down. I never met for the entity to exist. Alright, so we go through this door. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. The entity seeks death. Wow. Um, oh, the door on the left. It's pointing to that door. Death to itself, death to the world. A relentless desire that manifested physically. You have already seen the scars. Alright. Door on the left. <laughs> Has it tried pancakes? <laughs> right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Before you inevitably bring the the uh, before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Why do I have to judge the world? Of course, the entity will contact you again there. Alright, middle door. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Uh-oh. Well, we gotta be careful then. This will end the world instantly. Oh, jeez. Nothing else helpful to say.
Oh, come back. <laughs> no, no, it's not that simple. I am sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. Oh, wait, which door was that again? The middle door. Okay. But I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the messiah's tie to the world. So hold on. Which row is that? It's this row. One, two, three, four. Oh, hold on a sec. As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. Oh, so Nika won't be able to go home. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, I'm not reading chat right now, friends. I'm <laughs> certainly concentrating on trying not to mess these up. Oh, whoops. Well, I did mess that up a little bit. Mm, I can fix it, though. Just these. Whew. Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but It is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Hmm, alright, this is this is gonna be a tricky one to, to get. Let's see. Oh actually a one so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So
And then there's like three on the bottom here. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I slightly messed it up. Yep, missing that one. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's easily fixable, though. There we go. Whew. I did not realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. It's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. I guess Jeff isn't coming back. Oh, sorry. Game window is off center. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix that. Oop. Thanks, friends. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> the nature of this game makes it like really tricky for for streaming, <laughs> especially blind, since you don't know like all these changes that happen. <clears throat> I guess Jeff isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Jeff? Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Uh, I guess we need to figure out where to go now and... The sun! It lit up on its own. <laughs> Nico's little face. I guess I should pick it up, right, Jeff? Hey, we got the sun back. Oh, this is like... Oh, this is just like the basement in the house. Are we back in the house now? We are back in the house. Oh, but this door is like normal now. So you actually made it here. I guess you win, Jeff. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... Uh... It wants me to shatter the light bulb. Like, how obvious can you be? Door is locked. Door is locked. Door is locked. <laughs> I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah, I guess I have to choose between saving the world and letting Nico go home. Apparently. <laughs> Are you still planning to save the world, Jeff? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you figured out what this world is? I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only, th is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. <laughs> oh my god! Entity can't go against his programming. It's not tamed. <laughs> you only have one shot, Jeff. 
And it told me that at the beginning of the game, too. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. Why should I believe this entity? It already lied once. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? The author did say that the entity was going to try and trick me into shattering the light bulb, and maybe, maybe the entity wants me to shatter the light bulb to help Nico. But maybe I can both save the world and send Nico home. Maybe I can do both. Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Jeff. Are you excited, Jeff? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. Oh, hold on a sec. Eh, never mind. And then... I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Jeff? You seem a little quiet. Um... Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. I don't know. I'm not convinced of that. The world and you. What's that supposed to mean, Jeff? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... But won't that end the world? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So, what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? Nico's eyes are just so wide now. Or they've always been that wide, but... Oh my gosh, this is the title screen music. So, this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it? Oh. Jeff, what should I do? What's the right thing to do? Hmm. <laughs> I mean... This sucks. <laughs> Why the hell would the game do this to me? Like... Okay, like, I'm initially, I'm, like, leaning towards returning the sun. But if... If, if it's correct that Nico can't go home if you put the sun back, then, like, that's, that's awful for Nico. And I don't want, like, I don't want that for Nico. Um, 
But if we break the sun, then the world ends. And Nico gets to go home, but we could have saved the world. And it's like, ugh. But also, I, I'm not... Because, like, the Entity said we can't... The Entity said, like, your mission was to, like, help Nico leave the whole time. But, like, the Entity, like I said, like, a little while ago, just, like, lied about, like, me being gone. Like, the Entity told Nico that I had left Nico, and that was a lie. So, I feel like if, if the Entity's lying about that, like, what else is the Entity lying about? And it makes me think that returning the sun doesn't actually necessarily mean Nico can't go home. I feel like... And, and the author also warned us that the entity would be trying to trick us into breaking... Into shattering the sun. And... Perhaps the way that it's doing that is it's creating a false choice that... We can only either save Nico or save the world. We can't do both. And the entity is like counting on me to make the choice to save Nico instead of saving the world. So. <laughs> There's a dagger in my heart and it's twisting slowly. Oh God. So. Hold on. Let me look at. Hold on, let me, let me check the note from the author one more time. I don't know if there's anything else to hear. Regardless of what the Entity told you, there is more to the story. So yeah, so the Entity... ...has already lied to us... ...about one thing, and it makes me wonder, like, what else is the Entity lying to us about? So, I'm gonna go with Return the Sun. <sighs> You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Jeff. I promise I'll be okay. And that's it? <laughs> what? Okay, so th that was the head librarian. There's Lamplighter. Oh, there's a Lula and Calamus. Or Calamus. Oh, right, George was the head librarian, that's right. Can't tell if that's Silver or... or Kip. That was silver? Okay. There's profit bot. She got robot armor. Hairs down, backgrounds all blue. That makes sense. Yay! Achievement unlocked rebirth. That's because we we grew grew Maze back. Maze gets Maze gets to come back. Yay, I'm happy we helped Maze. Uh, 
Oh, Nico's room and there's daylight, but there's no Nico. Whoa, I just pressed the button and the game went away. Hold on a sec. Let's bring it back. Because my desktop hasn't changed either. Hold on, I keep pressing buttons and the game keeps going away. Maybe I need to like not press buttons. There's at least one other reason why people compare this game to Undertale. So... I feel like... Yeah, I must... I feel like I must need to, like, wait? Because a couple times I just press like, like, a button. Like I press like on the on the D-pad and the game closed. Also, like my desktop background hasn't changed yet either. It's still it's still like the way it the way it was when the game changed it. Uh. You should probably tell me now, because I was expecting this to be the end, actually. So, I was not counting on there being a next stream. There is something I need to do to see more. Do I need to run the clover again? Maybe I need to run the clover again. Hang on. Can I perform this action during cutscenes? Yeah, because this note is still here. This note is still here, so I'm wondering if I need to run the clover again. Let me try that. Oh, that save file wasn't there before. <laughs> Looks like you completed your mission in the world, and I understand. I know you wish to return, but the entity called itself One Shot for a reason. That restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now. At least for me. I do not know the full extent of your powers, so pardon me if this sounds foolish. But if you would be so kind as to test something for, out for me, a log of your saved progress may exist somewhere on your machine. Oh, and we found it! Maybe even the same location as this journal you are reading now. If this saved progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. A simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the extent of your powers. If what I described confuses you, I am sorry. Oh, wow. Nope, that doesn't confuse me at all. Does not confuse me at all. But let's save that for next time. <laughs>